This is VJ Fader. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up live audio input basically using your microphone in your Unreal Niagara Visualizer project. Let's get started. First of all, I'm going to clone my level that I created from the last video. So if you want to check out the last tutorial, check the link in the description. So I'm going to duplicate this level and call this Niagara Spectrum dash audio capture and open that up. I'm going to delete uh, this sound cue that I've created. That's uh, playing this music in a loop and then create my blueprint in here. Let's make a new blueprint actor and call this audio analysis and double click. This is going to be super simple. Uh, all we need to do in here is really uh, add a audio capture component. So I go uh, audio capture as my component and then you can leave the name as default as called audio capture. And let's compile and save this. All we need to do is drag this into our scene. Uh, I'm going to move it into my audio folder. So after you have placed this audio analysis blueprint actor into your level, uh, you need to assign a submix to this. So you could just assign one of these default submixes. However, uh, what happens is when you have audio capturing into Unreal and then it will automatically output that out to your speakers and that creates a feedback. So you can kind of skip this step uh, without creating a custom submix by just muting your speaker on your computer. So that way you don't create a feedback. Uh, but uh, we can go ahead and make this submix. So in my submix folder, I'm going to go right click, create a sound and mix sound submix. And it's called as audio input analysis. And then I'm going to create a second submix where I'm going to mute the audio it's called um, mute mic. So you can imagine uh, what's going to happen here. So I'm going to open that up and then drag this other submix into the first submix that I've created, which is the audio input analysis, and then just connect them together. For the mute submix, I'm going to actually mute this to have an output volume of zero. And basically that's all we have to do. And then you need to assign the submix to this audio capture. Uh, details panel, we scroll down and then we find submix field and then we select this audio input analysis submix. And the last thing is we have this Niagara uh, system that's reactive and for that uh, we also need to change the submix to this new submix I've created. Okay? And that's it. That's very simple to set up this uh, uh, microphone input. We can test this out. Um, ba -ba -ba all right, that was a rather painful troubleshooting process. Uh, somehow it was not working as intended, and I finally figured it out. A special thanks to John Arthur Marable, the creator of Arthur's Audio Blueprints. I'll leave the link to his awesome Unreal project on GitHub in the description below. So basically when you create this audio spectrum in the user parameters, this is where you have to set your submix channel. However, uh, for some reason, I believe it's a bug. You have to set your submix inside of the Niagara editor instead of the details panel. So now you know. Let's hop back into our level and let's hit play. And you can see that audio capture is now working. Now, uh, pros and cons and why would you want to do this? First of all, some of the drawbacks when you do audio capture is there is a bit of latency. So I have done extensive tests on how much latency I'm getting and basically I've got it down to about 10 frames uh, when I'm running 60 frames per second on a full HD output. That means 166 milliseconds latency, which is uh, can be significant just to keep that in mind. I can't get it down uh, less than that, uh, I can show you uh, the audio input 
device that I've set to is the Complete Audio 1 external USB audio capture device. Uh, and you can see that the audio volume is coming in. It's pretty low. So in your audio reactive, you can... <laughs> in your audio reactive um, Niagara, you can uh, increase the magnitude to get a larger sensitivity out of it. Say, for example, if you're only making a video out of it, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's real-time audio or the audio or the music is playing in your scene because at the end, people won't be able to tell the difference. So why do we do this, right? That's a good question. So uh, my answer to that is flexibility because when you do audio capture in real time, you can do lots of experiments and you can easily change any kind of audio from your audio input um, and experiment from that way instead of dropping a WAV file into your Unreal project, it can be very like, how do I put it? It can be time consuming, plus you're stuck with that song or a number of songs and you cannot easily change. It really depends on the use case because if you're just making a music video and you already know the, the music or the track that you want to visualize, then it doesn't matter that much. However, I really enjoy uh, using uh, audio capture as the audio source because I can freely put any music uh, and play any music to visualize and kind of fine tune my uh, visualizer. Just to demonstrate. That was just sort of a example of just having a little fun uh, to show that, yeah, with audio capture, you can really have lots of fun, just have your music playing or uh, jam or experiment and make your own sound and kind of have your visualizer uh, react in real time. Yeah, that's kind of what the whole point of this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This project is available for download on my Patreon page. If you have any future tutorial suggestions uh, or comments, please feel free to leave uh, in the comment section. Please do subscribe uh, and like this video because it takes a lot of time and effort to plan and edit and show you guys how to do things. And hope you enjoy it. Until next time, thanks.